Hello my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated the third Elite Four member, Caitlyn, the Psychic Type Master. In today's episode, we're going to be entering the fourth room, wherein lies the final Elite Four member. So let's go ahead and make our way up here. It looks like this is kind of a mechanical room going on. So let's go ahead and turn the wheels on the weird rising platform so we can make our way to the top already. And it looks like we are coming up on the top. I have gotten a lot of tips from you guys. So I have gone ahead and put Floater in front. And I feel like we are very, very prepared for this battle. Ooh, it is inside of a fighting ring it looks like. Ooh, this is quite exciting. So let's go ahead and talk to the fourth Elite Four member. Greetings, Challenger. My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and is taking an interest in you. It's my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. Kaya! Here we go, Rodri versus... Marshall, the fighting type master, the fourth and final Elite Four member of the Univer region. We are challenged by Elite Four Marshall, who has four Pokemon. Marshall is going to send out Throw, and I'm going to send out our Floater. It is time for our Unfazant to uh, make his way into this battle and see what it's all about. I'm going to go ahead and go for the fly. We should have the speed advantage in this battle, which is what I'm hoping uh, will help us throughout it, because I know that fighting type Pokemon are very strong, and our Pokemon aren't as effective on them as they could be. Our most effective Pokemon is Floater. All right, Throw's going for the Stone Edge. We avoided the attack. Oh, so strong. That makes my heart dance. All right, so let's go for another fly then. And that should pretty much take out Throw, which is pretty dang cool. I'm really glad we avoided the attack. It looks like our Floater knows that it's his time to shine. And that Floater has to put in a good amount of effort here because none of our other Pokemon will do as an effective job as he can. Okay, cool. Throw is down. Keep on bringing it. Let's keep on going. We have also grown to level 49, which is always good. Uh, move Swagger. I think we're just going to keep our old moves for now. So, yes, we're just going to keep on going with our normal moves. All right, let's bring it on. Next is Sock. Ooh, okay. I'm going to keep out Floater. We're still at full HP, and I believe in Floater. I really do believe in Floater. All right, let's go for the Fly Floater. Sock. It, whoa, we avoided it again. Yes, okay. We're going for the Fly. Yes, Floater is on his game today. This is really exciting. Oh, man. Okay. Sock used another Stone Edge, and it uh, didn't hit us because we were up in the air. Floater used Fly. Awesome job, Floater. Keep it going. It's super effective. Oh, we are, like, right there. We are going to go for the Quick Attack. Marshall went for the Full Restore. Of course, Marshall would do that. Go for the Full Restore. But now we know that we can take off with a Fly here, uh, which we might have, should have done. All right, let's go for the Fly this time around. Oh, wait. How do we... How do we keep avoiding that? Okay, there has to be something going on now because we've avoided about three of those stone edges. Uh, that That's pretty freaking insane. Is Sock down? Oh wow, Sock has fainted. Great job, Floater. We're rocking it right now. Next is Conkledor. I'm guessing it's a fighting type as well. So I'll just keep Floater going and it looks like we have a good flow going here. So I'm just gonna keep it going. Let's keep going for the Fly Floater. It's just working like a charm for us. I, I can't believe we're avoiding all those attacks. But you know what? I'm not complaining. Let's keep it going. I knew Marshall was gonna be tough. Uh, and Floater is doing a great job against Marshall's Pokemon right now. And awesome! Super effective and it was a crit! Conkledor has fainted! This is insane! Floater is flying through it. Okay, next is me and Xiao, and I'm gonna keep Floater out. I, I cannot believe this is happening. That's my final Pokemon, so we'll use our last bit of strength. All right, let's go for the fly. Oh, me and Xiao is gonna go for the rock slide. That one's probably gonna hurt quite a bit. Come on, yes, hold on, Floater. Let's go up in the air, and we can do this. Everyone believe in Floater right now. Let's hope we can put in a big kick. Oh, wait, it used the kick. Wait, what? The, oh. Wait, what just happened there? Floater sweeped them! Floater sweeped the team! I can't believe this! That was absolutely amazing! Floater just swept Marshall! That was insane! Floater grew to level 50 as well! And we have defeated Elite Four Marshall! There is no single strongest Pokemon or soul best combination! That's why it's difficult to keep winning! However, I think a heart that desires strength and strives to grow stronger is a precious ideal! 
That's why I respect you, because you have these things. We got 6,000 for winning! Now, you have become the strongest trainer in this Pokemon League. The status in the Central Chamber will take you to the Champion's Room. We, the Elite Four of Unova, are sworn to follow the Champion's order, to be neutral. So the rest is up to you. Alright guys, so it looks like we have defeated Marshall, and now it is our time to make it back to the Central Chamber, where it looks like we will be entering uh, something even crazier than the rooms we have already been in. If you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Four Elite Four members down, no more to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.